TikTokers with massive followings are now fawning over Osama bin Laden. Yes, you heard that correctly. We're gonna get into it, and guys, this is one of the craziest stories I've covered in a long time. But first, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brad Palumbo. I keep you up to date with all the craziest crap going on on the internet. So if you enjoy this video, if you enjoy losing brain cells for whatever reason and keeping up with TikTok, consider liking, commenting, subscribing, yada, yada, yada. And now take a listen to some of these TikToks that have gone absolutely viral where people are encouraging their viewers to go read the letter from Osama bin Laden, the architect of the 9-11 terrorist attacks against America that he wrote justifying those attacks. TikTokers are encouraging people to go read that letter and saying it changed their whole worldview and they think he was right. I can't even sum this up into words. You're just going to have to hear it for yourself. This morning I read Letter to America, which is Osama bin Laden's letter to America explaining why he attacked Americans. And I am ashamed to say that I not only have never read this letter, but I didn't even know this letter existed. It's wild and everyone should read it. If you haven't read it yet, read it. However, be forewarned that this has left me very disillusioned and I feel the same exact way I felt when I was deconstructing Christianity. I feel uh, a little bit just confused like I have entered into another timeline. What is this? And yeah, so go read it. So I just read a letter to America and I will never look at life the same. I will never look at this country the same. I will never, I, please read it. And if you have read it, let me know if you are also going through an existential crisis in this very moment, because in the last 20 minutes, my entire viewpoint on the entire life I have believed and I have lived has changed. Please read that entire letter. I need everyone to stop what they're doing right now and go read. It's literally two pages. Go read A Letter to America. And please come back here and just let me know what you think. Because I feel like I'm going through like an existential crisis right now. And a lot of people are. So I just need someone else to be feeling this too. I really don't have words for how bizarre and demented this is. These videos have received millions of views and people have been looking up the letter to go read it in droves. Now, if all these people were doing was encouraging people to read Osama bin Laden's letter, I wouldn't really have an issue with that. I do think Americans should read his letter to America, but they should read it with skepticism and see it for the deeply morally bankrupt, deeply anti-Semitic and deeply conspiratorial drivel defending barbarism that it is. Instead, these TikTokers are reading the letter and being like, wow, Bin Laden was right. It's particularly bizarre to see them doing this because these people are progressives ostensibly. So you'd think they'd be like concerned about social issues and all that. But they must have missed the part of the letter where Bin Laden specifically cites America's tolerance for homosexuality, its separation of church and state, and its liberation for women as the reasons it needs to be destroyed. Yet what the bulk of the letter focuses on is citing U.S. foreign policy in the Middle East as justification for why they attacked us on 9-11. Many of the specific charges and accusations that bin Laden makes against the U.S. are dubious or debatable or ahistorical, but it is true that the story here is more complicated than just, they hate us for our freedom. The concept of blowback or our oversteps overseas leading to consequences and making people hate us and want to hurt us is a real one. And it was actually first recognized by the CIA. Yet what's not true 
and in fact is deeply evil. Is Bin Laden's logical leap that if the US government hurt Muslims overseas, then they are therefore justified in targeting and killing innocent civilians here in America. The American people cannot be innocent of all the crimes committed by the Americans and Jews against us, Bin Laden writes, because the American people are the ones who choose their government, and the American people are the ones who pay the taxes which fund the planes that bomb us. Of course, this ignores too many realities to list in one place. From the fact that some of the US military's actions are defensible, even if they had a huge human cost, Although not all of them, to be sure. To the fact that your average American has almost no control over what the U.S. military does. And at any given point, like half the country voted against the current government anyway. Oh, and our tax dollars funding things overseas is not voluntary. It's not something we choose. It's mandatory. We have no other option. Yet Bin Laden, in his infamous letter, is not deterred by any of these glaring logical issues with his argument. He still defends their targeting and killing of innocent men, women, and children in this name. And despite the obvious hollowness of these arguments, millions of impressionable young people are hearing them and thinking, gee, that guy was right. This has ramifications far beyond just how the next generation reflects on 9-11 in a historical sense. Because since Hamas's vile October 7 terrorist attack that killed at least 1,200 Israelis, we've actually seen many young people in this country out there protesting in support of Hamas, even calling Hamas terrorists who killed innocents freedom fighters. In fact, one poll found that 51% of 18 to 24 year olds thought Hamas's violence against Israelis was justified. How did we get here? Well, because even if they hadn't read Osama bin Laden's infamous letter yet, young people have been inculcated with this toxic, divisive, collectivist worldview all the way since their college days, and now in the liberal elite bubbles they often in inhabit for both their social and professional lives. After all, holding a janitor that worked in the Twin Towers or an Israeli baby that was slaughtered by Hamas, holding them responsible for their government's actions isn't all that different from how woke progressives hold white people responsible for the crimes of their ancestors. It's all part and parcel of a fundamentally un-American worldview that views people not as individuals, but as little pieces of a nebulous collective. This latest example where young people are literally finding themselves praising bin Laden is just an extreme case of what was already a widespread sickness of the human heart. It's not enough, though, to just write off these young people or try to cancel them or whatever you might want to do. Whether we like it or not, they are going to inherit our society. They're going to become the next generation's leaders and power brokers. So we have to reach out to them and help them see the error of their ways. Because if we don't, the America our descendants will inherit will be completely unrecognizable. All right, guys, that's all I've got for this video. If you're new here, consider liking, commenting, letting me know what you think of the fact that TikTokers are actually out here simping for Osama bin Laden. And I'll be back on this channel sometime soon with another video.